Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Grimoire of the Goth. I wanted to wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful happy holidays, and I hope you've all enjoyed it if you're celebrating Hanukkah or Yule or anything that's already passed. I hope you had a great holiday season, and for those of you who are celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas! This is being uploaded on the day of Christmas. I hope you all have had a wonderful time with your family and have been able to make some wonderful memories. Today I'll be going over the different pieces that I made for my family. It was definitely a struggle. I finished three pieces in one week. I want to say that's the most I've ever really done in a week. Usually I'll give myself a week to finish one piece, if not two weeks. So doing three in one week was quite the challenge. I definitely learned a lot just through doing that. The thought behind each of the pieces that I've created was to make something that would appeal to the person I'm giving it to. So for the typewriter piece, that's going to go to my sister-in-law who loves writing. That's one of her, I would say, most adored hobbies that she's kept throughout most of her life. And so I thought it would be very fitting to give her something writing related. This was a really fun piece for me to put together because I've never done mixed media and have always wanted to, but just never had an idea that really worked with mixed media until now. So I'm, I'm very happy with how this one turned out. It was a lot of fun to make. I enjoyed it thoroughly. And honestly, if I could do it all over again, I definitely would. The second piece that I made, I didn't have a whole lot of footage. I had issues with camera storage again, so. I did not get the chance to record anything from this piece. I, I knew that he loved coffee and thought this would be a fun way to incorporate that. The biggest thing I think I learned from doing more abstract slash expressionism was the layers of paint that you have to put on here on the canvas. Just the difference that it makes when you add multiple layers to the color instead of just sticking with the base coat and saying, I don't know, I guess it's done. Adds character that it wouldn't have had if you just stuck to the base layer that was put down first. The last piece that I did is a very interesting one, honestly. This wasn't just a random piece that I wanted to throw together. This was actually based off of the style that I kind of saw throughout everything. Like, the things that she would post were very outdoorsy and just the, the quiet, peaceful side of nature. And I really wanted to play off of that. I just saw a lot of appreciation for mushrooms and flowers and butterflies. And I thought, you know, this, this is where I really need to go with this. I think it'd be a lot of fun to play around with the garden look. I love the idea of a secret garden. And I thought this would be a lot of fun to work with. All of these pieces each had their own struggles. I've changed ideas a couple of different times on each of them just to help save some time but also provide quality work that I would have been proud of. It was a very difficult challenge and something that I would love to try again sometime down the road. At the time of me recording this video, I have not handed these gifts to the people they're going to, so I don't know exactly what the reaction is going to be. I'm hoping that they'll enjoy it, I just I don't have an answer for it right away. I may very well bring it up in the next video. Well, that was, this was a very simple, sweet video. I didn't want to get too in-depth with anything because it is the holiday season. For all of you celebrating Christmas today, I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, as we are a week away from the New Year's. I do have a lot in store for next year, and I really am so grateful for all of you guys that have watched my videos, have subscribed and liked, and even commented. Thank you so much for your interaction. It's been so encouraging for me. 
I can't wait to see what happens in this next year. I will see you guys in 2022.